Hey, hey, Team Money Gang. I am excited that you're here. I'm here to discuss just before the year wraps up how I intend to double down and to make millions in 2023. And I thought, why not? I can, I can share. After all, that's why we are here. I know you have been looking for me for a while, but I'm back. You can see I've added weight in the wrong places. <laughs> Let's leave that for another time. I'm here now and that's what matters. I thought that, oh no, I shouldn't let 2022 go by without all our money tips and all our money skills and everything in between. Have you checked out our playlist today? Oh my gosh, you should go check out the playlist and it should just give you a light bulb moment about the things that are to hit you from this channel going forward. I have you at mind. I have come on a money journey and I'm still on that journey, even the bigger run. So I know exactly where we can be if we work together. Okay. Meanwhile, if you have been watching this channel and you haven't clicked the subscribe button, this is a good time to not let the year roll by and you haven't done what you should do. Meanwhile, like this video like now, right now. And if at the end of the video, somehow I was talking bullshit, then you can always unlike, but just do like the I do like this video right now. Oh, yes. So, I have a few things I thought that I should um, walk through with you. I know you already have your plans for the new year. I know you have certain things that you want to double down on, certain things you don't want to do anymore, certain things you want to start doing. And I just thought, okay, let's come and rub minds to know to be able to validate some of the things that you already have in plan so there, there's no there, there's no reinventing the wheel guys so we are just talking okay number one thing i think you should consider when it comes to your money game going forward is to change the way you think about money now these are two things two ways a lot of people are held bound and are and remain broke year in year out with all their skill knowledge talent experience not because they don't know what to do but because they are they are crippled and can't get to see themselves execute on them or continue to execute on them so i have been there before and i know exactly how that can happen so you need to break that inertia you know by the way you think think of yourself as the world is waiting for the solution that I bring and I have to bring. And I don't need to drop down or drop the ball at any point. Another part of this whole, you know, rethinking thing is the big ego. You know, you, you might have been one of those people who have become enslaved to thinking, Oh, that's too small for me. I don't, I can't associate with those kind of jobs, those kind of investments. Guy, ladies, that might just be the reason that you're still struggling. Okay, so you have to have an objective mind. You have to ask the right questions when you look at or when you come across financial opportunities. Ask the right questions. You know, don't shy away from things or conclude or listen to, you know, backdoor. It's a whole lot of, it's a whole lot of noise out there. Go to the people who design the program or the bankers or whoever and ask critical questions so that you're taking the right decision to do or not to do that's something i think you need to absolutely double down on this new year stop letting things pass you by stop you know discounting things stop listening to you know people at home people on your street people around who are just saying stuff about what they don't even know you know creating fear in the hearts of people about what other people are cashing out from big time number two thing i think that you must put on your list and do more of in 2023 is to budget budget this one i have gone for years i have gone you know up and down about it and i think that we need to take it more seriously this time budget 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 i started working on budget in september now on my family finance i had to you know discipline myself and in tow came my husband we had to discipline ourselves about saving for different things Ah, and that gets me to the point. Budgeting will save your life. Knowing what goes to food, what goes to body care, what goes to paying your rent, what goes to mortgage, what, whatever. Just make sure that you have a budget every month or every week for the things that are recurrent. That is the only way you'll be able to set aside savings. You'll be able to set aside investments. 
And if you don't know, in this budget, I also want you to make sure that you bring out what I call emergency funding. I think a few people say you is you being able to save at least 30 to 40, 30 to 50 percent of your regular income or regular business profit, whatever it is. Save it away. You don't touch it. You do not touch it. Somebody is wedding mm -mm. as show a be, you don't it doesn't come out. Whatever is not your income, it only shows up when there's emergency. And I hope you know what the emergency emergency is. Emergency is not that somebody just called you as oh we need hospital bill, blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Emergency funding. Those kind of funding, those kind of financial needs that can bring it to your knees, that can that can bring disgrace that's when emergency funding comes to be budgeting is very 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 key For how to start is first of all you know write down what and what and what are the recurring things i'm gonna spend on yeah you take your time to note them and then you can even use if, if you're somebody who is very huge on you know on spreadsheet create it on spreadsheet but make sure that it's something that is handy you can create it on your phone make sure you know exactly what goes into what this new year 2023 is your year of being intentional about your funding because right here we are creating wealth we don't want to retire broke anyway coming to retirement have you checked out our playlist retirement is a whole playlist on this channel right now guys forgive me i'm sweating because i had to lock myself in here no <laughs> so that noise from fan and ac will not affect me because i need to do this video and it's really hot in nigeria okay the third thing that i think you should make priority on that list right now is passive income why do you think i'm going hard on youtube because i want to be able to get to a point where even if i'm not in your face every other two days or one day or one week baby i'm making money still and that's one passive income come from the things that you can do now and they can keep giving you money because you have already invested upfront by providing something like content or investing money or stuff. There are so many of such opportunities and those things are the kind of things that people usually um, look down on. You shouldn't. Passive income, because any income that is active, you have to be there physically before you earn, is not sustainable. It's not sustainable. You're still going to be broke after all your hard work and that can be you. Okay, we already have people like that a lot in society. So that can be you. Passive income is something I think you should double down on research on what is passive income. What kind of investment or jobs or careers or skills will afford me passive income. And if you're somebody who is like me, you should think about YouTube. Passive income can also come from writing your books. I write those books now. I'm writing 16 titles in the, in the next two years, and I, I, I'm i not joking about it, okay? So make sure that you have passive income portfolio. Very important because, see, I used to be very, very, you know, up there, you know, teens, 20s, and 30s. Now I'm in my 40s. And there's some things that no matter how attractive they come these days, I don't pick up those opportunities because, girl, anything that will lead me to physically there, you know, breaking my neck, you know, matching them high heels, I just discovered that I have zero interest for them. Yeah, because you will get there or you already have passed this age where your, your mind just changes about certain things. You're no longer in that bubble where you're like, oh, I need to, you know, as exact energy, if you know what I mean. Okay, so let's go to the next that I think you should totally inculcate your 2023 financial plan number four is save save like a mad man mad woman save at least 50 percent of your income mad and see this is not if you are working a job that pays you six figures if your investment no no matter what it is that you're earning save like you don't have sense because what has having sense got you all this while you're still broke so act like you're actually crazy and save and saving comes first baby it comes first you save first then spend the rest yeah practice extreme excruciating saving and i hope you know you don't just save and put in the bank who does that save 
and then invest it into something that will, you know, multiply that money. Multiply that money. I use an app called Piggyvest. And that investment platform has literally changed my life. Sometimes you feel like, oh, I need to get some money. I wish I can access this money. But because you put it out there in safe lock or in investitures or what, you're stuck. And by the time it matures, you're more grateful that you took that decision than never. Save like a madman, a mad woman, and then invest that savings in something that will multiply that money. So it is your ball to pick to find out where is your investment portfolio is going to be. Where are you going to invest? And sometimes when we talk about investment, people think, what is investment? Is it stock and all of that? Investment just means there are platforms where, or programs or products, you can invest your money. Sometimes it's even in business. You can put in money, and over a period of time, you can multiply that money. It will come back to you without you having to go back to work to make sure that money comes out, if you know what I mean. Okay, there are opportunities like that in your city, in your country, find out. If you still have questions about it, ask me in the comment section and we can have a whole different session about it. Okay, the next thing I think you should double down on while you're planning your finance this year is to get a regular income source. Now, a few people will say, ah, you know, I want to do business. I'm doing passive income. I'm creating this. But what they're actually doing is lying around the house prospecting to no avail. You don't want to do that this next year. So while you're doing all that you're doing, make sure that having regular income is a must. What I mean by that is have a job or a business that gives you money at least every week or every month or every quarter. But it gives you a huge sum of money that you can plan with every week or daily or weekly or monthly or at extremes quarterly. Guys, you cannot do without, in fact, you can't even invest, you know, create a passive income with vigor and all of that without having a regular source of income. You will not be able. So go get a job. Go get a job. Yes, there's nothing wrong with getting a job even though you want to do business, you want to be a freelancer, you want to be a business owner. There is nothing wrong with getting a job first. Use that job to plan until the job can fund you and help you set up all of these instruments financially. Then you shouldn't quit a regular job. You shouldn't. Yes, I know all of that stigma that comes with, oh my God, she runs this business. She now works XYZ. Forget about all of those talks. Remember, on this channel, we are thinking about you, your personal finance. That's what is important. Put yourself on the priority list first. Think of yourself first. Have a plan get a regular job and when you get a regular job you're able to save maybe half of it you're able to have emergency funding you're able to maybe invest in a business you may able to be able to do passive income like do youtube uh, youtube videos that may not pay you until you meet the threshold and people can believe in you because at least you have food to eat you have lighting you have internet that you can use to invest in doing that upfront because you have a regular job. So don't let anybody kid you, right? One of the plans is to go get a job. Dust your CV off. I know you haven't gone about the job industry for a while. You've been doing all of them. This is that. Go get a job. And yes, your skills, your knowledge, your expertise is still sought after in the labor market. Go get a job to support your financial planning. The next thing I think you should never ignore as well is create your digital products. I mean, I know you know about this. You've seen other people do it. You may have you may have even read and you know downloaded some of my courses, my templates, my checklist. But you have never gotten around to thinking about what you can give, or maybe you have thought about, oh, I can actually do this. But you have seen yourself in a state of inertia. You've not been able to go ahead to do that. Create that ebook in that profitable title that people really need, that will answer people's greatest needs. Create that video, create that webinar, write that book, okay? Don't sit on this. Create a membership program where you're mentoring people on their ongoing basis and they're paying to subscribe to what it is that your knowledge has been. I was talking to my younger sister recently because she's a master saleswoman, right? And I told her, do you know how much your services or rather your advice in sales push 
can help a lot of organizations. And then she saw the light. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm thinking about that. Trust me to be able to, you know, push people to be able to, you know, earn more even where they are. And that's the same thing I'm telling you. Create that digital product, whether it's an ebook, whether it's a video course, whether it's an online course, whether it's a webinar, whatever it is. Give people tools that can enable them to live better, work better, you know, achieve success. And they will be willing to give you money in return. And you don't have to, to create any inventory. You don't have to ship anything. They're just going to get it straight on the, on the, on the website. Right? So they pay you, you make money. And when you create it once, you don't have to create it again. I have online courses. I have ebooks, I have checklists, I have templates, I have programs. You can actually take and um, you know scroll through and see which one fits your budget and your need that you can actually be part of. I get a lot when I'm just you know there making videos, editing videos, you know, being a mom, being a wife, worrying about my normal errands, and people are paying me. The last ebooks I, I wrote were, was in 2018. Apart from these ones I'm currently writing now that I haven't even uploaded. And people are still buying them. Okay, so create your digital products. If it is in the line of your experience, talent, research, whatever, write a book that solves one problem for somebody. Make sure that that problem is something that a whole lot of people also need with a particular need area in a particular market. Make sure it's something that a lot of people need as solutions and come from your perspective. It doesn't matter whether people have done this a lot. Your perspective is different. Your experience is different. What you bring to the table is different. And there are people that will never listen to every other person doing the same thing, but they will listen to you. There's always this space. There's always this space is always large for everybody to succeed. Create your digital products. Think about what it is. If you need help with knowing what a profitable digital product to create, then let me know in the comment section or send me an email. Then we can take it from there. Tisobotibeaka at gmail.com so we can also tailor a training to help you see how I create mine and you can go ahead and create yours. The next thing you should absolutely not ignore this year, coming year, is to learn financial literacy. You can't do anything new with old knowledge okay first of all go deal with your understanding of assets and liabilities deal with your understanding of income deal with your understanding of credit and debit deal with your you know understanding of passive income and all of these things i'm talking about affiliate marketing all of those things right it will save you a whole lot especially if you want to create a digital product there are lots of digital products you can create you can blog I've been blogging for 13 years and you can make money through in AdSense, through sponsorship, through what all the things that made money from blogging. You can create online courses, right? You can, there's so many things you can do, for instance, in online business that can give you a lot of money. But you need to first understand what they are, how they are done. If you want to create an online course also, let me know in the comment section and we can take it from there. Please go learn financial literacy what they mean how you can go about it because you need to understand the things that are for you to be able to cash into them and take the opportunities what you don't understand you will not be able to benefit from right okay the other thing i want to also hammer on is invest invest don't bank don't just put your money in the bank there will be no interest you know little or nothing added to it invest i use big invest like i was saying it's an app that you can save money you can withdraw without payment. You can also withdraw, you know, by paying. You can get your your interest upfront when you invest. Um, when you save, you can also invest in different kind of um, in farming products, in motorcycle, cars, Ubers, you know, different things. And there are a lot of other platforms. You can invest in only an Airbnb. You can invest in business. Find out in your region, and I will be leaving my Pig Invest link down below for you to also take advantage of you can open an account and check out how it works it has literally saved my family from a lot of hassles from school fit planning we put money in different places for different things and it has come really handy these are a few things i think i should remind you as the year slowly rolls rolls down into 2023 you know and i think that 
with all that I've set up in the playlist, you know, debt management. Oh my God, I think that financial literacy will also help you to, to know when not to borrow. Very important. Whether you're borrowing from family and friends and all of those things that give you anxiety, you don't need them going forward. Knowing when to borrow and when not to borrow. When to just deprive yourself and your family from certain things so that you can keep your integrity and your peace of mind in place. There are always alternatives. Digital products can be your alternative. You can create an online course with something that you really know and that can become you know, something you're focused on because you want to raise income for a certain need in your family or in your personal life. So don't leave any of these things you know, hanging. And I think that if you choose to do these things, millions will be normal for you. Even before the first quarter, we will come back to do a review you know, a review of the first quarter financially, where we are as individuals and where we are as a community. Because, you know, you join the Chi Money Gang now and that's what we're going to be doing. Okay? Is there anything I forgot you think you're already doing? Share also so that I can add in my own list because, you know, we're doing this together. Okay? Did I come your way again? <sighs> oh my gosh. Keep being financially literate. Keep looking at your options, get on your laptop and get doing something. Get researching, get knowing. And uh, that reminds me, have you thought about um, using the new conversational chatbot called ChatGPT? It can help you also to, you know, validate some of your thoughts and your plans. And let's see how that goes, okay? Until I come your way really soon, which is tomorrow by the 31st, God willing. Let's talk some more money, okay? All right. Bye.